Hello everyone, this is Caroline coming to you from MC Beaters and I just want to give you guys a heads up. Tomorrow, Marianne and I have our first craft fair since the pandemic. We had three that were canceled or rescheduled for who knows. And tomorrow we have one for um, in uh, Duchess Stadium and we are so super excited. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, my mom makes these little bracelets and they're so, so super easy for those of you that are just new to crafting or just wanna do some little quick and easy gift giving projects or um, if you wanna do something with your children. My mom makes these bracelets. So I buy these on Amazon for her and you get, I believe there are 30 of these and it's like $7. So you don't have to go through the work of making these expandable bangle bracelets. and Best is they don't tarnish. Not one has tarnished. And my mom, um, she had some left over from two years ago. They're still good to go. I wear one of the ones that she made me. And it hasn't turned. So you get 30 of these for, I believe it's seven, but I have to double check on Amazon. Now, rather than her fussing with jump rings and needle nose pliers and all that to attach her charms, I buy these. Now these are little dangle bead dangles, but they have the lobster claw clasp. So that this way she can, you know, play around with colors, maybe do some birthstone colors and stuff like that. She wants to give it a little Christmassy type of look. She would use just the green and the reds. If she wants to do more of a spring look, she would use the pinks and the pastel colors and or a winter look, the dark blue and the light blue and white. So that's, that's this. So she puts on, I believe, like two on each of these bangles. Then she uses these, which is all little inspirational charms. Live, laugh, love, forever, I choose strength, um, never, never give up. She believed she could, so she did. So this, these are all great inspirational. So she usually puts one of these and again, it has, these all have the lobster claw class for her, so she doesn't have to use any tools. And then these, these are also um, kind of like, I would say inspirational, religious, what have you, brave, faith, inspire, grow forever. And these are just a different type of shape. These are more rectangular, but these are rectangular. And these are discs. Some of them are actually hard. So it kind of adds a little difference to all the charms. So she has about four that she puts on each of these. And she loves doing these. Occasionally she breaks it down, she complains, but whatever. <laughs> and then I actually purchased these from Amazon. I, I don't even remember when. And I do remember that I got like 50 of these. And these are great for when you make like corded necklaces. And I use these rather than fussing with um, the chain links that you buy at Michael's or Hobby Lobby uh, because they don't tarnish. Sometimes you buy that chain link roll of chains or whatever, snake chains, and they turn your neck black or they discolor. You don't have to worry about that with these. And I also got, these are genuine stones, agate, or agate, whoever you want to say it, quartz, um, there's a whole bunch in here. And they're so simple. And the, the clasp is, I don't know if you guys could see it, but it's so nice and big. So usually when I take these off, I have to take the clasp off and then string it, but the other side is actually small, so they'll go in. And this is another little project that my mom likes to do. I thought these were gonna be bigger, but sometimes people don't like those big, chunky, ridiculously large pendants. I do, but most people, you know, like more delicate, feminine type of corded necklaces. And I believe these are 18 inches. So I just wanted to give you guys some ideas of those of you who are just beginning crafting or those of you that just want an easy craft or something to do with your parents or your kids. So she loves these and she, she's actually going to be selling some of these at the craft fair, but not her. I'm going to be doing it for her. And, um... And then we have her snap bracelets that she makes too that she just, you know, snaps on a little crystal. And 
she adds those large hold they kind of look like um what do you call them oh i forgot the name it's it's lost me um but anyway she pandora bracelet they have those beads for the pandora but they're not and she just you know strings them and she adds a few those snap crystal things and she pops in a, a cute little embellishment so all right, so hoping you guys tune in tomorrow to see our craft fair. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.